Nigerian government deliberately sponsoring insecurity to justify Kano's illegal detention, IPOP. IPOP made the allegation on Monday in its statement issued by its media and publicity secretary, Ima Parafo, stressing that the only way to solve Nigeria and keep the country is for the Nigerian government to release the IPOP leader Namdi Kano from the custody of the Department of State Service, DSS. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has accused President Bola Tinubu's government of deli deliberately sponsoring insecurity in Nigeria particularly in the southeast region, to use it as a reason for the continued detention of its leader, Namdi Kanu. IPOP made the allegation on Monday in a statement issued by its media and publicity secretary, Maparafo, stressing that the only way to solve Nigeria, to save Nigeria and to keep the, the country is for the Nigerian government to release Kanu from the custody of the Department of State Service DSS. IPOP also lambasted a civil group, Save Nigeria Movement, SNM, over what the pro Biafran group described as unguided attacks and useless petition against the, the House of Representatives, other committee, Chairman Obina, for calling for Nandi Kano's unconditional release from detention. He said, we, the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, led by our great leader, Mazin Namdi Kano, are asking how can charlatans from a group to save a dying nation and at the same time promote the demise of the same country through their display of ignorance. The Federal House of Representatives had a committee chairman investigating the insecurity in South, in some uh, countries in Abia State. Honorable Obina Agwacha called on the Nigerian government and its compromised security agency, the DSS, to release Mazinam de Kano, or conditionally from solitary confinement. After much deliberation at the chambers on the level of insecurity throughout Nigeria, with emphasis on the southeastern region. The other committee chairman gave the only solution to ending insecurity in the, in the East as the release of Namdi Kano. Honorable Agucha is a stakeholder in the Southeast and knows exactly the root cause of the insecurity in the Southeast. But for the fact that the Nigerian government is sponsoring insecurity as a reason to continue the illegal detention of Mazinam de Kano. They will use their attack dogs like SNM to attack anyone who calls for the release of Mazinam de Kano. It is non-negotiable that the Nigerian government must obey the appeal, the court's judgment that have discharged and acquitted Mazinam de Kano. Should the government insist on the Supreme Court verdict, the highs of the world are on the Nigerian Supreme Court to legalize the internal crime of extraordinary rendition, powerful stated. He further said, if indeed members of the SNM want to save Nigeria from going into Obivlon, they ought to have advised the Nigerian government to obey their court judgment and others. It will be absolutely impossible to save a nation that violates its citizens' right to freedom and abuses the rule, the rule of law with reckless abandon. Powerful alleged that SNM is bankrolled by the government to defend their the dictatorship actions at a, a few, a bunch of individuals who fight the rule of law because of ethnic bigotry, 
maybe these SNM are part of those sponsoring the insecurity in the Southeast. And that maybe why and that maybe that is why the they oppose the release of Mazina and the Kano. They know that their criminal activism would end as soon as Mazina and the Kano is released. Members of SNM should retreat their unguided statements and petition against Honorable Agwoch. Also, they should tell the Nigerian government to respect our own rule of law by releasing Mazin Namdekano unconditionally, as the court have declared. By doing so, SNM can save Nigeria if they wish, I pop hard said. Okay, guys, you've all heard it now. Of course, they are. It is a convert op uh, oppression to change the narrative because 85% of people of Southeast were all calling for a referendum. The more they try to defend Kano, the more they commit obvious offenses. Gumi is the kingpin of kidnapping bandits in Nigeria. He is always supporting evil. He always negotiates with bandits. He is supposed to be held captive in Kujé prison all the days of his life for committing all these kind of atrocities in Nigeria. The insecurity is consuming them. Rather, the, the more he remains there, like some of them here, he's saying the more the members of people in the North reduce. Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So what's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for stopping by. Bye for now.